Hi everyone, how are you going today? Today I thought we'd do something different. Normally when I show you one of these boxes, it's all about the unboxing and what we can actually see that we've been sent from the Lingerie Society. Today I thought I'd show you what actually made with everything that's in a box. So this is my Lingerie Society box. Slightly different from the last time you've seen it because I've actually made everything up. So I'm just going to do a little bit of unpacking into what we have left over before I show you everything I've made up. So left over, I've got like a really useful piece of power mesh. Easily get a couple more bra backs out of the power mesh. So good, useful amount. Small amount of elastic, tiny amounts of the embroidered mesh, a little bit of fold over, little bits of elastic. These little bits of elastic make really great hair ties. Um, sometimes if I'm trialing a new bra pattern, I'll use up all the odd bits that I kind of don't, uh, aren't as useful for other things, um, but they're always kind of handy for something. Small piece of mesh, tiny, tiny pieces left of the embroidery, not much left of the slinky lycra, really odd shapes of the crystal lycra, a bit more of the slinky lycra, again a weird kind of shape, and basically some bits and pieces which kind of may be big enough for really tiny panels but not much kind of useful amount left. So I kind of, what I did was I figured out all of the patterns I wanted to do and then I started cutting out. In the tin I have left a ribbon bow, a tiny bit of lace, my Andre Society card, the wider back, which I, um, the wider backs, I love them, but depending on what shape bra I make, sometimes they're too long for my torso. I'm quite short uh, and so I really have to plan if I want to use a longer band because otherwise it just it just I don't have enough space in my chest so uh, I will swap that with a taller friend of mine um, and I've got some of the little uh, labels left mostly because I forgot to sew them in so as you can see like a little bit left but not a lot of super useful amount left so I'm gonna pop this one to one side So what I did is, this is everything that I made. And what I did was I lined it all up, um, laid out all of my patterns and cut everything in one go. And I find if you want to get maximum amount of usage, that was definitely the easiest way to go. All right, so let's have a look at what we've done. So here's everything actually made from the entire box. First up, we've got a wired bra. This is the Adrian bra by Queens of Suburbia. Um, mine doesn't have any foam in it, so that's why the cups kind of look a bit kind of flat. It's really cute style. I like this one. I wear it a lot and I've made it a fair few times. Um, few things I had to add to the kit. My underwires, which is fine because it means I get to use my own size. The wider pico along the bottom and the non-stretch lining um, I have added to the inside of the cups and the cradle um, for a bit of extra support. But you can see I've used the power mesh along the back and we've got multiple kinds of elastic with the wider strap elastic, the beautiful rose gold hardware, ruffled elastic and the little Pico as well. Um, also, as you can note, a narrower um, back as well, which I got out of my own stash. So that's piece number one. Piece number two is the Maya bra from Studio Costura. It's a soft cut bra with no underwire. Um, I've added the straps and hardware. Everything else came from the kit. Um, really cute. I really like this style with lots of lockdowns. It's great to wear it at home because it gives you a good shape, but you know, no underwise. So yay. 
So yeah, it works out really well. It never quite sits flat. They've actually used casing to help with the shape and it works really well. It just means that it doesn't kind of photograph so well sometimes. Piece number three is the Lizzie Knickers. These are some of my own. You can buy this pattern on my website. I'll give a link to it below. I've mixed up the crystal lycra with the slinky lycra with some of the embroidered mesh. And you can see I've been sewing in lockdown and I had the wrong needles. So this bit kind of looks fairly terrible. Um, I'll actually unpick it later, but I wanted to show you that needle choice counts a lot when it comes to sewing stretch. So um, I swapped from a uh, stretch to a jersey needle or vice versa. I'll have to read my notes again and it made all the difference, but I left this one in just so you could have a look. And as you can see, nice wide elastic and more of the ruffle elastic to actually fit it all in. So again, that's the Lizzie knickers. I also made the Charlottes. So the Charlotte knickers, normally um, the, the front section is all one piece. I've pieced it in by adding in this curve. There's a little tiny join up the top here. Um, Charlotte knickers are normally made out of woven fabric cut on the bias. I've sized down a size. I've cut them with the greatest um, stretch or the dogs going around the body and it works fine. And then I have appliqued on one of the lace pieces at the back, just using a zigzag. Next pair of knickers are the Mary knickers. These are out of the crystal lycra and I've used the um, stretch lace as the waistband. I've sized these up because I actually want to wear them as sleep shorts. Um, so I cut a bigger size, but clearly didn't cut a bigger size with my lace. So it's a little bit more gathered looking when it's off the body than I would like it, but on the body it just sits flat and that's fine. So the Marys are another one of my patterns. There's actually a sew along for that, which I will give the link to as well um, here on YouTube. So you can follow along and make your own pair as well. And then to match those to also wear to bed, I need a tank. So this is the Racerback tank, um, again, one of my own patterns, um, except I've spliced it up a little bit. So I've cut along the tops, added the mesh in along here. On the back, we have the crystal lycra. Now it was this slinky jersey that my machine just didn't want to sew. So to finish the edges, which normally I would sort of just turn under and uh, top stitch down, I've added fold over. So the pink fold over is from my stash. The um, peach was already included as was the applique. And this one, because of my machine not wanting to do things, I've actually left the hem raw for the moment. I will hem it uh, at um, some point when I actually get to go and get the correct needles. So um, I will show you that at a different point. So all in all, it's a tank, a pair of knickers, another pair of knickers, another pair, a soft bra, Oops, soft bra and a wired bra, all from one box. It was amazing to get this much out. Um, and the way to do it was I laid out all of my fabric, I laid out all of my patterns, and then I just played Tetris until it worked. So as long as you're determined to make it work, you can get this many pieces out, but I would highly recommend cutting them all at one time so that you get the maximum amount of usage. Okay, have fun sewing and I'll talk to you again soon.